Phil Burt here. Today I'm going to talk about the top, most common five bike fit mistakes I see. Number one, saddle. More often than not, I see somebody who thinks they've got a position or problem with their bike, but in actual fact, they're trying to set the position up for the wrong saddle. So, remember, with a saddle, the type of saddle it is, is it designed for road riding or time trialing, long endurance, short sprints, it's really important to get right. Make sure your goal of cycling matches your saddle. The width of it, if you can measure your sit bones in any of the old fashioned ways or come in for a bike fit and get it measured digitally, width for saddle width can make a huge difference to comfort and performance. And of course, whether it's got a gap or not to relieve numbness, or whether it's a time trial saddle, and as we mentioned, road saddle. Now, the second most common thing I see is just the wrong saddle position. So you could have the best saddle in the world for you, but if it's not in the right place, it's not going to work. So. My tip to you is the most common thing I see in the clinic here is an ordinarily people are sitting too far back and too low. Now that can be for a variety of reasons, but maybe moving your saddle up and forward, which improves your ability to pedal and produce power and often improves reach to the front. A lot of people think that their bike's too big for the match or fact their saddle's just too far back. Come in. Now, the reason why I think a lot of people set themselves up like that, my insight, and I'd love to do some research one day into this and actually know it, but the modern world teaches us how to sit really well, but maybe not prepares us to ride a bike. So don't be surprised that if you try safely to move your saddle up and forward, whether the comfort improves. That's the most common thing I see. Anyway, thirdly, I'd like to talk about crank length. Now, crank length, again, a lot of people who alter their position have their saddle too far back and to accommodate too big a crank length. Now, if you're struggling with cadence, tight hip flexors, just never feel like you're really, really connected with a bike or can pedal easily, consider crank length. Remember, there is no cost to performance in reducing crank length. You're only changing your gearing. And to my mind, pedaling a big circle or pedaling a small circle, if you've got a bit of a knee niggle, get tight hips, want to get more forward over the bike, more aero, but the crank length is stopping you doing that, that makes perfect sense to reduce the crank length and give the problem to the mechanics, either gearing rather than you. Now, the other most common thing I see is handlebar width. For some reason, more commonly than a lot, I see on people on two wider handlebars. The industry generally supplies standard handlebar widths out with certain size bikes. You can go from 44 all the way down to 36 even, all right? Now, the big thing to remember is that when you're sitting on the bike, you can do this at home, you're, the, the, the bony parts of your shoulder here, your chrome, should be in line with your hands on the hoods. So if you're out here, that's increasing your reach and probably ended up making you splay and increasing the pressure here, which will give you a numbness. So if you're suffering with those things, like you think, oh, did, I've got a fairly short stem on here, but I don't feel like I'm connected, but it feels a long way away. It could be just handlebar where it can improve comfort a hell of a lot. And lastly, I think what we want to say is just be realistic. If you set your bike up to be Mark Cavendish or win the Tour de France, and you don't cycle every day as long as those guys, it's not really surprising if it's not going to be comfortable. That's their job. That's what they do, right? They mold themselves to it. If, unlike most of us, we have a day job to do, sitting at a desk, a computer, that flexibility might not be there. Remember, key word, you're adaptable, the bike is adjustable. Decide which one needs to move to who and be realistic. Okay guys, take it easy.